Hey, everybody. Uh, how's the sound? Is it working out okay today? Tip, tip, tip. Third. Okay. I heart sushi. Can you hear me, guys? Okay, great. Thanks, Rasher. Okay, good. Um, great. Uh, let's see. What I wanted to talk about today, and uh, you guys can help out a lot. Uh, so anyway, well, let me have a few greetings here. Hey, Rich, buddy. Uh, Bruce, how's it going? I heard what he said. Hi to you, I heard Rasher. Uh, hey, True Junior, Christopher, Randy, Javier. Uh, and let me see, George. Oh, good. And Tim, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, what I'd like to talk about today is recognizing watches. Uh, I, and by that, I, 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 I sort of mean this, is that I, I was looking at, hey, Clyde, how you doing, man? Uh, Stephen, and I, what I was thinking about was that uh, there's certain watches, and you can, you can see any one of the models that they make and just say, oh, uh, that's a Rolex. That's a very easy one uh, to uh, see. Hey, Raghunam. Is that right? I hope I said it right. Raghuram. Raghuram. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> yeah, what's that thing on my wrist? Is it a watch? Um, yes, it's a watch. Uh, it's, it's something that um, you should know about. Yeah, here's a watch, for example. You got to be able to tell by the giant lugs exactly what kind of, oh, uh, Javier, you're too quick. <laughs> you saw it right away. It's a Parmigiani. That's one thing about Parmigianis. They have these great big uh, horn lugs on them. And um, so, you know, eh, so you can tell it's a Parmigiani. And um, it's a sundial. Oh, 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 come on, Christopher. Um See, Rolex subs are hard to identify because there are so many cheap replicas. Okay, now, okay, okay, now listen, guys, <laughs> that was one of the things. Let's leave aside for now replicas and so on and so forth. The reason for that is, is because that becomes, that's a whole other conversation. I, I just want to talk about the, which ones we can look at and say, hey, that's got, that's recognizable. You're right about the um, all the, the all of the copies and the and the forgeries and so forth. But I, I just wanted to talk about say, hey, look, at, let's look at this, and can we recognize that as as a certain kind of watch? Uh, hey, Flip and Zippo, uh, I call the ten foot rule, depending on one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole. <laughs> you got the ten foot rule. Uh, okay. Uh, Let's see about the um, some of the watches. Now, uh, somebody mentioned FP Jorn. They're easy to spot because of, among other things, they have the way the numbers go around, and they all uh, are turning inside. So the six at the bottom looks like a nine. Another thing that FP Jorn does is that uh, some of the numbers, oops, you can't see it, they're smaller if, if a subdial or something gets in the way. They, they do a lot of things like that. Um, now, this is a, well, let me ask you guys, can you spot, do you know what this is? Hi, Mooney42. Do you, can, you, can you identify this as a type, just looking at it? It's a little difficult. No? Uh, Henry, oh. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's a Moser, right, to <laughs> Clyde. <laughs> yeah, but the way that I can identify um, most of these is the is because of the what are called their sound like fuel, but they're not. It means leaf. They're called leaf hands. Okay, um, these and 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 also the way they do the dials and a few things like that. Um, Okay, here's another one. This ought to be easy. How about that one? 
No, nobody got this one. No, come on, Clyde. Nobody on this one. Okay, this one is a novelty. Beauvais. Thanks, Clyde. That was easy. That was an easy one. Javier, you guys got that. Hey, Nelson. Uh-oh, bad stream, blurry on my end. Oh, rats. Um, yeah, it's a it's it's blurry. That's too bad. Let me see if I how is that? Is that a little better now? There's the Bove. Um, okay, uh, well, and the the final one I have <laughs> it is actually pretty easy to spot, but uh, not because I put a red banner on it. Hi, Tennessee. Um, which one is this? I mean, for in terms of identifying it. Let me bring this in. <laughs> uh, Lang, you're right. It's a uh, well, Lang of Lang and Heim. Um, uh, that's Wim. Hi, Wim. Uh, the the easiest way to identify these is it simply has three lugs uh, and on uh, each side instead of two. So anyway, th these are some of the things. Um, yes, Howard. Hey, Howard. How you doing, man? Uh, you got that one right, uh, Langenheim, the and that's Lang without the e. The other thing I just it sort of was like looking at that, and and in part this would be something that you can see, but then when you go beyond a certain point, for example, what about um, Adamar Piguet? Now, if you uh, if we we're talking about a Royal Oak or even a Royal Oak over uh, offshore. What about the other uh, Audemars Piguets? Can you sort of look at that and say, oh, that's an Audemars Piguet without reading the <laughs> where it says Audemars Piguet? For example, could you spot a, a Jules Audemar and uh, look at the, um, oh, something like a Vacheron Constantin Patrimony and say, hey, these are, these are different. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, Panerai, Panerai to me, are very easy to spot a Panerai. Uh, what else? Uh, Jules watches are very nice. Yeah, they're nice. Some of them are oval shaped. You're talking about the millinery, right? Um, RM, Tree Dillinger, RM. What is RM? Uh, something an omega speedmaster very recognizable good one uh cartier yes cartier has easy to recognize very good apple yeah apple watch yeah but what about the um the moses swiss alps okay uh richard mealy yes that's another one very easy to spot um yeah ap millinery is but what about just your regular AP? There's not a millinery. There's not a um, uh, a Royal Oak. Same thing with Vacheron Constantin. They're easy to recognize the uh, overseas with a little, um, I don't know, what gear-like things that stick out of them. Chanel, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, it's not, um, not Monaco jewels, but it's, uh, is it Monaco? That's not Monaco. Yes, I, I know the one you're talking about, uh, Jury. Is that right how you say it, Jury? Uh, you're right, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, uh, not, it's not Monaco. Come on, what is the one that's, that looks like? Uh, no, it's not. I wasn't thinking of Hoyer Monaco. Oh, yeah, Hoyer Monaco. Yeah, there, there is. But what's the other? Uh, Movado. That's the other one. Movado is you can spot those across the room. Um, yeah. Uh, Hoyer Monaco, very good. Uh, hi, Turkey Vulture. Um, Mohammed, how you doing? Cartier, yeah, that was that was a good one. Um, a Lang and Son uh, Zyber, <laughs> yeah, that is another one, Stephen. Uh, that's another that's another one. A Bogan Monaco. I'm not sure about what that one is, Turkey Vulture. Um, Porsche Maven. Let me see. Uh, what else do we have? Cartier Blue ba Balloon is easy to spot. Yeah, 
blue, white, black, all of the uh, Cartier uh, balloon blues are easy to spot. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, um, now this is the other thing. Uh, which ones can you spot by their movement? And this is something, whoops, ah, rats. Um, here we go. The movement on this Langenheim is easy as pie to spot because it has a trigonal bridge. Yeah, so you can look at it that way and say, oh, that's an easy one to spot. Um, the okay, FP Jorn, this is an easy one to spot. One, they're made out of gold, which is, which is helpful. But also on the Souverain, they have the, uh, uh, the double barrels. And this on the um, Beauvais, you have uh, this great big plate with a river running down the middle of it. A river runs through it. Okay. All right. Um, hey, Alex, how you doing, man? Uh, Quorum Golden Bridges. Yes. You know, that's another one. That reminds me of another one, and that's uh, Gerard Perigo, uh with the, the three bridges that they have on theirs that they uh, won awards for. A Hamilton Ventura whim. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for that one. <laughs> that's a great one. Um, how many of you guys know what a Hamilton Ventura is? Uh, thanks, Turkey Vulture. Um, there, you know, I, it, it, it's like there, there's a lot of, of good watches. Uh, paddock with a rooted rotor. How, what is it? Christopher, I'm not sure which, what the rooted rotor is that you mean. Uh, Men in Black Watch. No, I don't think so. I think it's it's the Elvis Watts. That's right. Jury knows that one. Elvis wore one, right? Tri yeah, it's triangular. That's another way to spot it. Very easy. Uh, it is retro. Uh, the Ventura is a triangle watch, right? I mean, that those are some some really unique ones. I don't know how many other Hamiltons, so. I think a lot of people know what a uh, can spot a Hamilton khaki and a few other ones like that. Um, a double swan neck Glasudi original movement. Yeah. Hey, yes. Oh, yes. That's a great example, Jer. Omega with a coaxial. Be the only way I can I can recognize that it says coaxial on the front. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, looking through the back or not. Sometimes you can, sometimes gears and other things are in the way and you can't, or plates. IWC Big Pilot. Uh, yeah, or the uh, the Zenith Big Pilot, too. That's another one. JLC Automatic. Or JLC uh, Reverso is a, is one that's, uh, yeah, uh, Bruce, you said it before I did. Uh, let's see. I say a Quartz Adventure. I'm not sure what that one is. Ventura, yeah. Well, no, the Ventura comes in quartz, and it also comes in uh, mechanical. So the the King had the mechanical version. That's the only one that counts. I got to get one of those. Uh, Rolex Midas, yeah. AC3 Perverso. <laughs> There's no such watch. <laughs> okay. Oh, the Doppel movement in a harboring chrono. Excellent example. You bet. That's a that's a heck of a watch. I was looking at my um my harboring two and it's that dial is you know someone without being twitted too much by saying, Okay, that looks like a nomos and somewhat, but not really. Um hey Mo, what do you got? Oh, a Langa used to make a pilot watches like W I W C before I W C. I think everybody made something before I W C. <laughs> okay, uh, Omega Marine. Okay, Breguet Classic. Yes, yes, I love the Breguet Classic. You know the one I like even better from Breguet uh, is the one with all of the open stuff. I think they call it the Heritage, but I could be wrong. Um, I like the Classic too. The Classic is really a neat one. Blanc Pond, 50 Fathoms. Yeah. Yeah, that's another good one. Um, now, they've got two kinds of 50 Fathoms, I think. 
One is the original 50 Fathoms, and the other one is the Bathyscape, I think is a newer one, uh, what they call on that. And, you know, I'll tell you one that they that uh, Audemars Piguet has, that new code watch. They call it code something or other, and a lot of people don't like it, but because it doesn't look like a royal oak, I think. Um, okay, Omega Marine. Um, let me see. Quorum, very distinctive case shape. Okay, I don't know Quorum that well, but I, I've seen him around. Um, you know, uh, Jacques Droz, yes, uh, Mohammed, that's a great one. The Jacques Droz, you can spot those. They usually have that figure eight somewhere in there. Uh, yeah, it, what is the code 1159 of what it is, uh, Clyde? Thanks. Uh, Zenas El Primero. Oh, boy. Um, I happen to know some specifically, mainly the, the big pilots. Um, you know, I don't know the El Primero, Tennessee, in terms of I saw the watch and, it, and I didn't read where it said El Primero. I, I'm trying to think. Some of the ones, those big pilot watches they would, the Royal Oak. Yeah, that's a tough one, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> uh quorum bubble ugly but distinctive yeah yeah that's a good one if you gather enough quorums does that make a oh. <laughs> all right mont blanc nicholas rizzi excellent example uh muhammad yeah that's another one uh kaz i think has those he loves them uh and they're good buys i think that's that's another neat one um Double speed chrono movement, one of a kind. <laughs> okay. Um, LUC. Man, I tell you, you're talking about uh, Chopard LUC. They do have something distinct about them, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Panerai cast shape plus, you know, the um, radio mirror from um, radio mirror from Panerai, I can spot. So, and also to the Radio Mirror, California. That's easy to spot. Um, oh, uh, one that have any of you seen? It's called the. Uh, it's by uh, Cartier. It's called the Crash. Uh, those are cool watches. And they have another one called the um, Tank Follet, which looks like somebody bent it up, but it worked. It was a cool watch. I think they stopped making it, but. Because uh, I was the only one who liked it. Okay, coming up next on Watch Art Sci. Can you help me find my car keys? <laughs> no. Um, what I was thinking of, people have been saying, yeah, oh, you don't dress right. Um, I, I'm going to wear the next, I, I think, not tomorrow's uh, video, which I think I think is sort of cool. But, but uh, for the next Friday's video, I'm going to put on my white linen suit and look like Sydney Green Street. Okay. Uh, crash is awesome. Yeah. Like it melted. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Jor, have you seen the uh, tank full A? That's even more so of that. Wear a lab coat. Yeah. No, I look like a, a, a pretentious, a pretentious watchmaker wears a white suit. A real mo <laughs> watchmaker wears a lab jacket. Um, thanks, Jer. I think so, too. I'm comfy. That's the thing. Ever I was looking at some of my own videos, my older videos that I had, and I was always wearing a coat and tie. And that was before I retired. Then when I retired, I said, I can wear anything I want. <laughs> hey, Raghuram, I assume uh, you're wearing pants. Of course I'm wearing pants. Good grief. <laughs> all right um smoke a pipe i used to do that uh nino uh, i used to smoke a pipe i was a pipe smoker for years until i had to tell my kids not to smoke and so i figured well i better give it up that was about 30 years ago though um Okay, no blue or white button-down shirts. Please give us nightmares. <laughs> it's the wrong deal. I'm wearing a white suit with a white shirt and a red tie, I think, and then my and then a Panama hat. Um, 
this, you know, now listen, now this is proper because it's between Memorial Day and Labor Day. So I can wear, that. that's the okay time for white. Okay, you're getting KFC for dinner. Be sure to get turkey, uh, KFC. <laughs> what, no kilt? No, I, I'm not Scotch. Um, I like Scotch, but doesn't mean I'm Scotch. All right. Um, 42 uh, crepe moray patterns channel. Oh no, are you are you guys getting uh, creep uh, uh, crepey morays? Yeah, white suit, total pimp. There you go. Um, you look like Colonel Sanders, huh? Well, okay. Um, Roger Dubuis, Knights of the Round Table. Oh yeah, Wim, that's really. Uh, also, too, uh, Roger Dubuis' uh, Sympathies. I like those. They have those, the way the ends come to those little points. Those are very cool. Bell and Ross can spot a mile away. Yeah, you can on Bell and Ross. Bell and Ross have a lot of those, um, what I guess you'd call them, they're, in, they're from airplane instrument panel uh, kinds of things. I've always liked that about them. Uh, glass Hooties. Which Glass Hooties? Oh, Glass Hooties Original? Yeah, they are easy to spot. You know, I tell you, though, there are some A. Longa and Glasuti originals that do look a lot alike. I think they're the big date ones uh, with the smaller. Um, they, they sort of have a big date, and then they have a, a, a smaller uh, uh, dial. Okay. Um, okay, good. Thanks, Porsche Maven. Alex, what's up? I see Belarus. Yep. Uh, let's see. Remember that watch. Yeah, the Knights and the Swords. Yeah. Uh, the reversal rag. Uh, Glasudi Originals have Saxon dials like the old German brands. Okay. Um, hey, crappy luxury. How you doing, man? How are things in Portland? From Portlandia. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of family in Portland, so I can joke about it. Okay, the Rolex Day Day. Yeah. You know, um, just about all the Rolexes you can identify. Um, liberal. Okay. Uh, crappy, we're talking about um, uh, watches we can identify just because of the general looks of them. Hey, Matt, how you doing, man? You wreck watches are very distinct and easy to uh, recognize. Yeah. Uh, Matt, you're going to be getting sent one that uh, is going to be easy to recognize too pretty soon. Um, Vassar and Constantine 2005 anniversary watches look amazing. Tour de, oh, it's, is it specially Tour de Lille or is it Quai de Lille? Okay. Um, oh, I got one. I, my, uh, Vassar and Constantine 19, you know, America 1921 are pretty easy to spot too. Um, small dials called a... See where's where's, where's Rich got it's beef. Uh, never met. Crappy is is that a is that the brigade you're talking about? Um. Hi, hey, and that's something that you missed. You're late again. <laughs> We've got a little time left. Um. Hey, Andre, how's it going, man? Yeah, I think we had that earlier one by mistake. By the way, too. Uh, Clyde, if you're still around here, you know that you, when you left on the uh, the video yesterday, uh, I got the, that new system they have. I went back to what they call the classical, in other words, the old system. That new one they have is a mess, so I'm going to have to, before I do anything with it, I've got to figure it out. Um, Breitling Super Ocean and Navtime immediately recognized. Okay. Um, hey, C. Big, Big B, how you doing? Uh, another big hello from the Schwartz Ford, the Black Force. Hey, Black Force. Hi, Curtis. Yeah, Curtis, you were here earlier when I screwed it up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, ooh, ooh. And that's something got a pioneer. 
those did you uh which one did you get i want to get that cosmic green pioneer that is so so nice that's a beautiful one um but the kitchen ate up all of my watch money <laughs> my wife wanted a new kitchen man those are expensive all right blue fume oh yeah that's a beautiful one that is really nice so okay uh vostok amphibian yeah that's a nino that's a great example they got the little diver down there and everything yes you can spot those very quickly uh the vostok amphibia great one um okay vitronox swiss army knife yeah they got the swiss army knife um gizmo on them a, a little uh swiss cross okay let's see what else what are some other ones that are uniquely um, uniquely visible. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Um, we talked about Rolexes, we Tag Heuer. The, are there any other ones you can think of from Tag Heuer other than the Monica that you can spot a block away? Um, a Rado, Rado Diastar. Oh, a Chiken Joker, perfect example of uh, Raghunen. Ragaram. I'm sorry, man. I know I'm messing up your name. Ragaram. Ragaram. Okay. I hope that's right. But yes, the, the clown, the joker. Uh, oh, and have you seen the new one that uh, they've entered? It's now the Dracula. It's basically the same watch with different faces on it. Uh, Hamilton, the yeah, Ventura. See, Bigby, that's a good one. We talked about that. The Nautilus. Yeah, the Nautilus is. Um, you know, but the you know we talk about the nautilus the most common one and the, actually probably the best selling uh paddock philippe is the humble uh calatrava and i guess you can sort of i can tell some calatravas others i gotta gotta look at uh closely tudor uh monte carlo okay there's a tudor prince too i know that sort of goes way back from the way back those skull watches from that Irish watchmaker. You know, uh, the woman, uh, is, is that the one you're talking about with the skulls? What's her name? I met her and, and my wife and her, her had a real uh, long talk at the, uh, at the watch time show in New York last year. By the way, too, um, the, if, if you can, go to that watch time show this coming year. Uh, they have a they have a bunch of discounts right now, and you can save some bucks. They also have indicated a hotel uh, that you can stay in for a discount too. Um, I'm I might I, I usually stay at the Roosevelt because it's it's near Grand Central, and we can walk over there. And then when we time to go home, we turn around and go home. But the the Embassy Suites I think is the one that they have, and that's. That's not too far from uh, Grand Central, and it's really close to um, oh the hall where they have what's the name of that hall? It's not Manhattan, uh, Gotham. It's really near Gotham Hall where they have the thing. So if you're anywhere near New York, or you can get there, um, and that'd be a, that's a great time we have there. Okay, uh, the Omega Seamaster line. Okay, True Liberty. Oh, there you're the True Liberty they were talking about. I uh, 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 AP. Royal Oak, yeah, Matt, those are, I'm trying to think, the, um, what are the, uh, Millet and uh, Frank Mueller, Frank Mueller's are some other ones, did anybody mention that already, probably did, um, Haja, how you doing, man, it's, it's in the mail, uh, I got a, uh, I got an interesting thing, I got really, I, these are excuses why your watch is late. Why they haven't sent it to you uh, before, Haja. And I was told the guy said, well, we've been having a lot of demonstrations in Hong Kong. Sort of like, so I'm not going to get it out to you until X. But it's supposed to be uh, shipped on Monday. However, I did get not one, but two regulator dials. Uh, here's one of my regulator dials and i gotta figure out how to make a watch from it I've, i'm working on that with the help of the pretentious watchmakers fp journe eleganta yes yes see bigby that's a great one yes it is you know the thing about that watch too you can flip that thing in the back and immediately 
uh, by the movement because the movement has is is a FP Jorn made quartz, but it's got that little heart. You can see that right away. Hey Blake, how you doing, man? You finally made it. Uh, let's see what are some other ones you have uh, for another show. Good watches that are not easily recognized, like Ebel Elix Mido. Oh yeah, uh, those are my favorite kind because uh, Alex, uh, because uh, if they're not recognizable and they're not popular, sometimes you can get some really, really good watches uh, that are that way. Um, Wim uh, Omega uh, Proploff, yes, that's a great example of one you can see. Oh, HYT watches, of course. You can see that those are that's another great example. Hey, Blake Star, uh, Richard Milne will be the next FM in about 10 more years. FM, FM, what do you, FM, Frank Mueller, is that FM you mean? Arnold and Sons, uh, and London Graham. Okay, uh, let's see, Blake Star, what's up? Let me see. Um, UN Freak, yes, uh. There are a lot of um, Ulysse Nardin watches that are that I can recognize. Uh, the Regatta, which is one of my favorite. Also, the, those new ones they have with sort of that funny triangle in the middle. I think it's on. I think yeah, that is uh, the Ulysse Nardin, the Ulysse Nardin Freak, uh, MBNF. Yeah, MBNF was another one, uh, Bruce. Great example. Um, Jacob and Company, Mark. Yeah, Jacob and Company. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if those are watches or simply jewelry with us. Somebody threw a a, um, a movement in. Uh, Jacob and Company has five entries in the Grand Prix, and my prediction is that they're not going to win anything. Uh, here's why. I mean, yeah. It's, certain kind of jewelry they they they've made us blast but they don't do any movements uh what's his name J jacob the jeweler uh went to some kind of six months jewelry school and, and started making these things and uh, but he's not a watchmaker at all and the movements he puts in are the kind of stuff i put in <laughs> for in the pretentious watchmakers the un marine Okay, let's see. Cassio, oh, Cassio Frogman, but also uh, De Bunthe is another good one. Um, <laughs> you so Blake, he won it when you were 15. <laughs> uh, what's easy to recognize right away? Jacob and Company or Jacob and Company owner? I don't know what the owner looks like. Uh, the only picture I've seen of him, he's got a little black thing around his neck with his name on it. Okay, uh, Tree Dillinger, uh, those old Jacob Four. I mean, some people like him. That's all I'm going to say. Nino, have you checked out a visitor watch company? Beautifully unique uh, cases. Visitor watch company? No, Nino, I don't know of um, visitor. I will look at it, though. Thanks. Uh, have you seen the only watch collection? Oh, yeah, the only watch collection. Trying to think if I've seen this year or not. Sometimes you, you run into them individually rather than as a whole collection. Uh, like uh, I think I was FP Jean, I was looking at some of their things and up popped one. Uh, Chopek, yes, Chopek is another great example. Uh, any Seiko, Seiko with a uh, cushion case. Hey, True Liberty, some of the Invictus, some of the older Invictus, we're going to have a thing. We, I, I, This one guy that sent us, he's got a collection of Invictus. And uh, so I got a chance to, to learn something about them. I, I don't know too much, to tell you the truth, uh, about Invictus yet. Okay, let's see. Mohammed, Blue 50 Fathom Flyback Chronograph and Complete Calendar is a good watch at Blanc Pain and affect so far my opinion okay yeah man purse what's a man purse uh blake see the other tag hoyer is the aqua racer uh with a striped dial yeah alex that's a good example hey casper how you doing man 
Uh, let's see. I sent you those mails about Invicta. Yes, yes, you're the guy that has the Invictus. And I got a whole bunch of them, too. Thank you. Uh, Blanc Pain is a good company. Blanc Pawn, sorry. Um, Sky Dweller looks like a DJ from 10 feet. A DJ, DJ, DJ. Uh, what is a DJ? Um, I like the Sky Dweller, too. Hey, Sergi, any plans published watch book? I guess you have okay. enough material. Searching Apple Books for published. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Siri heard me. God, she probably hears the whole thing. <laughs> My Siri went off. Sorry, guys. I better turn it. Get away from me. Um, oh, date just. Okay. Uh, I don't know all of the... I, I don't know Rolex that well. I don't have a Rolex. The only one I want is the, um, uh, the Prince, the Cellini Prince. That one I've come close to pulling the trigger on a few times, um, and maybe I will. Does look like a big DJ. Okay, you guys, it's a DJ, a PDQ, and a. <laughs> they all use the same ugly case. <laughs> all right, now let's let's now we're gonna be nice about each other's watches, all of them, and I, I I'll, I'll behave myself too, and I won't say another bad thing about Jacob and company. All right. Well, listen, guys. Um, <laughs> all right. Cartier Roadster date. That's another good one. My time is up. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we have a very, very interesting uh, collection. Uh, it's, it's got some, some cool watches, and it's also got a lot of surprises in it. So, anyway, hope to see you then. And... Take care. See you next week uh, on the live.